Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera semua penonton dan hakim sekalian. Saya di sini berdiri untuk membentangkan sebuah kajian. Izinkan saya dalam bahasa Inggeris. My research title will be Enhance Student Understanding in Lee Chatelier Principle Using Seesaw Analogy. Tuan-tuan yang dihormati dan dirahmati Tuhan, saya melakukan kajian ini bersama dengan Cikgu Nur Zihana binti Ismail dan kami daripada Panitia Kimia Sekolah Tinggi Keluang dan saya berdiri di sini mewakili JPN Johor dan PPD Keluang untuk berkongsi amalan baik yang dilakukan semasa melakukan kajian tindakan berkenaan kimia di Keluang. I would like to continue our teaching and learning reflection. Point number one, students have difficulty in solving the Lee Chatelier principle question. This is major problem because Lee Chatelier principle, the equilibrium, we are going to find it many times in Heber e equation, contact process equation and Oswald equation. Furthermore, in real STPM equation, we found that during 2013 to 2019, students need to face it seven times in session A, twice in session B and twice in section C where each question in section B and section C cost us seven marks so if they don't master this surely they will face major problem point number two on our reflection students do not able to predict the shift position of equilibrium whether to the left or to the right Johnston in his study 2000 Bilkin 2006 Pillai 1996 Vendriel 2002 stated that the student that do not able to determine the direction of equation surely will face problem in calculating mole and calculating the mathematical problem in chemistry in equilibrium chapters and then our point number three student do not able to determine the changes in equilibrium and constant so Based on Glynn 2007, the study said that uh, student can only be enhanced their understanding by using the analogy and they need to be rectified as soon as possible because the ionic equilibrium on the further chapters need us to do calculation based on this Lee Chatelier principle. Our target group was 15 students from SF1 class and SF2 class semester 1 that face problem in calculating and understanding the Lee Chatelier principle that we found from our diagnostic test. Our general objective is to enhance student understanding in Lee Chatelier principle. Our specific objective number one to observe the student perception in Lee Chatelier principle pre-test and post-test. We look into their perception whether they like it or not like it. This uh, Lee Chatelier principle before we conduct our study and post study. And our point number two in specific objective is to enhance the student understanding in Lee Chatelier principle using seesaw method that means we are going to look based on our pre-test and post-test whether the student got improvement or not in this Lee Chatelier chapter let us continue the implementation of our research the flow of our research so the point number one is to analysis the problem that means we look into the problem okay by using the diagnostic test or looking at the homework which subtopic that we they have problem and then we make conclusion that we have problem at this point of study okay then point number two we run the te pre-test okay after we gather all students with the problem we do the pre-test we did the pre-test and then we introduce them using seesaw analogy method and then we do post test then after that we look at the student feedback by using the questionnaire dear my honorable viewers 
I would like to continue on our analysis of problem, the first step of our study. So we found that students have problem in Lee Chatelier principle based on their homework and exercises. Students only able to select few questions only from the total from a numbers of the question. They select the question that they can do. They cannot do all the question. Then during the essay part, student not able to answer in the correct concept. And then the most worst of part, some of the student not able to answer the question at all based on Lee Chatelier principle. So we conduct another diagnostic method to determine this question by using this questionnaire. On questionnaire, the students said that they need to spend a lot of time to study this Lee Chatelier principle where in the end they don't understand at all. And then the, our findings found out that the student cannot understand the concept and they said that they are more comfortable and understood if we can relate the lesson with their existing experience which they don't have any because Lee Chatelier is the new concept in Form 6 they don't learn it at all at Form 4 and Form 5 so how can suddenly we make it relate to their existing experience surely by our method using seesaw method all right because they play seesaw during your their children time we already give the student five questions with the sub questions on pretest we need to look at their understanding where hundred percent means they already understand and we categorize that into uh, two type of student more than 70% is considered understand where less than 70% correct we consider the student do not understand so this 15 student okay we managed to do the pretest and then we found that this 15 student got less than 70% the highest mark is 69% while the lowest mark is 8%. So when we look at the graph, we found that only two students, student number seven and student number 15, managed to get 69, while the lowest mark is student number nine and student number 10, where got 8% mark. Remember, this is not pass fail question, whether understand or not understand. So meaning that, the, and the, the student that understand must get 100% because this is only subtopic, not the whole examination. So we consider 70% as understand, while less than 70% is not understand. The Lee Chatelier principle. This is the PowerPoint of analysis. Percentage of the mark that they get per question. Question 1 to question 5, the question quite simple, while question number 5, it, we separate that into few sub question. We found that in the class of 15 students, 60% of them able to answer well on question 1, which is quite simple. Question 2 is quite simple. Question 3 is quite simple. Question 4 is quite simple and question 5 based on the understanding and the concept and some of the essay question on the question 5. Then we found that their lecture of misconception get them to get less than 30% correct on the question number 5. Meaning that their misconception is really serious in explaining the Lee Chatelier principle because they don't have a very strong understanding on the knowledge itself. Dear my honorable guests, so let me continue with our method. And our method is actually this seesaw, very cheap, cost than less than one ringgit. So what we must have here, tape at our hand that show the direction of reaction 
left showing R meaning that this is the reactant arrow at the right the, the tip at the right show product P while the tip at the middle is the reversible arrow that means that this is the fulcrum of our seesaw let me explain in Bahasa to prevent our language barrier limit us to understand this so dekat sebelah kanan saya ada satu tip yang kita perlu letak untuk menunjukkan arah tindak balas itu ke kanan atau ke kiri kerjanya hanya untuk tekan sahaja dan tidak boleh angkat eh ini mesti untuk tekan sahaja sebelah kanan straw ini adalah produk sebelah kiri straw ini adalah reactant dan tip di tengah ini menunjukkan anak panah berbalik menunjukkan fulcrum bagi jongkang jongkit ini dan Fundamental untuk Lee Chatelier, anak panah ini haruslah berada dalam keadaan stable bermaksud jongkang jongkit ini dalam keadaan yang stabil. Jadi kita cuba lihat bagaimana kita selesaikan masalah bagi soalan. So this is how this seesaw work. Let's say look, we look at the question H2 plus I2 producing 2 HI. So the concentration of H2 increase. So we look H2 at the left of equation. So Increase means become heavier, become heavier. Don't use this hand yet. So this is the question. So how to make it balance? Macam mana nak jadikan dia imbang balik? Tangan ni kerjanya menekan sahaja. So kita tekan dia begini. So apa yang berlaku? Reaction shift to the right. Concentration of the product increase which is HI increase. Dan disebabkan dia terangkat tadi concentration of I2 decrease. So yang kita tahu dia bergerak ke kanan. So kita lihat pula soalan yang kedua tuan-tuan 2Fe3 plus plus 2I minus producing 2Fe2 plus produce plus I2 as product So kita lihat dekat situ apa yang berlaku kepekatan Fe2 plus dikurangkan Bermaksud produk jadi lebih ringan So apa berlaku pada tangan kita? Tangan kita kerja tekan ke bawah takkan tekan yang ini tuan-tuan Mesti tekan yang ini untuk dia imbang balik So reaction will go to the right Ok, so direction-direction ini sentiasa mengganggu pelajar So, kawan-kawan kita cuba lihat pula contoh untuk pressure Kita akan sambung tentang tekanan Tekanan ini memang ada perkara yang meragukan ramai pelajar Sebab dia bergantung pada dua keadaan iaitu Tekanan naik, tekanan turun dan jumlah mol Jadi dia agak mengelirukan kan Jadi kita pegangkan pelajar tu pada tekanan tinggi dahulu Kita pegangkan pada tekanan tinggi Dan kemudian kita boleh adjustkan tentang tekanan rendah dan mol Ok, baiklah tuan-tuan Apa benda ceritanya tu? Baiklah kita tolong lihat dekat sini Ini adalah kita punya timbangan tadi Seesaw kita tadi So, kalau tekanan tinggi Kita lihat pada persamaan pertama pada slide 2 SO2 tambah O2 Patah balik, anak panah buat patah balik Jadi 2 SO3 Kita lihat mol mana yang lebih banyak 2 SO2 tambah 1 O2 itu 3 Bermaksud sebelah kiri dia ada 3 mol Sebelah kanan awak lihat nombor di depannya ya tuan-tuan Kita dapat lihat depannya 2 So 3 lawan 2, 3 lebih berat begini So kalau tekanan tinggi ke manakah agaknya tindak balas itu akan bergerak ke kanan atau ke kiri Kita gunakan tangan kita tadi untuk mengimbangkan balik dengan cara tekanan Nak tekan yang mana tonton untuk imbangkan dia sudah tentu tekan yang kanan So tindak balas ini akan bergerak ke kanan So ini adalah cara untuk tekanan tinggi uh, We continue with our post test result So we found that everybody 15 students show improvement okay when we look at the table we found that everybody got at least 31 percent improvement while the most improvement we can see by student number nine where earlier got eight percent and then finally got 69 percent so it is 61 percent improvement so basically every student show improvement we hope that we can further our research on Lee Chatelier especially in improving the understanding of the, of the student based on the lower pressure and then we look into the another factors such as inert gases inside Lee Chatelier principle we also need to look into the chapters that uh, haven't strived yet by our student such as uh, ionic equilibrium or another topics on STPM I would like to thank every viewers judges that look into the video and I hope that the sharing is meaningful to all viewers. So thank you for view 
our research from starting to the end. Thank you, thank you, and thank you.